This video explains how to manage all relevant data for preliminary payroll to help you with your monthly payroll process. Meet Emma, a HR generalist responsible for reviewing the payroll each month and sending the information to the company's payroll office. Once a month, she receives a task in Personio to review the preliminary payroll. In the preliminary payroll table, she can easily identify any changes in employee information. Employees will appear in the table if at least one day of the payroll period falls between their hire and termination dates, their employment type is internal, they are assigned to a subcompany if enabled, and they have a value for the attribute by which payroll is grouped. In case of termination, they can appear for three additional months in the payroll, if they receive any salary or there was a change of employee data. Employees for whom changes were made in the previous month will appear at the top of the table. New hires are flagged in green at the beginning of the row. She notices that in the month of August, two new employees joined the company. Employees that are highlighted marked in orange had changes made to their information. Emma can click on a highlighted attribute to get more context and to see a list of all updated attributes. In this case, Paul changed his bank account. And Larissa received a salary increase from 34,000 to 40,000. Emma sees that Paula was on sick leave, but on the incorrect dates. She clicks on the employee's profile, reviews the dates, and adjusts them so they can be processed in the correct month. She can display employees and salary data, as well as absence periods, in three separate worksheets in the preview table and in the Excel export. If she manages several subcompanies via one Personio account, separate preview tables will be created for each subcompany. She can add any employee attribute to the payroll table and export via the payroll export. Once Emma has reviewed the payroll data in the preview table, she can approve the preliminary payroll and export the payroll file. When Emma approves the payroll, the payroll is generated automatically. The payroll table is now frozen and no further attribute changes are displayed. Emma then sends the payroll export to the responsible colleagues for finalising payroll. Once Emma receives the payslips from the payroll office, she's ready to import them into each employee's profile. She performs a multi-upload of employee documents so that several get uploaded at once to Personio and are automatically assigned to the corresponding employee's profile. To ensure that the files are named correctly, Emma has to use the following naming formats. Under Imports, she uploads the documents or can drag and drop them into the Files field and click on Next. Up to 100 documents can be uploaded simultaneously with each import. Importing the data will update the employee profile in Personio for each member of her team. If she's not using the automatic assignment function based on file names, she can assign the desired document category to the documents and if applicable, she can edit the document date. The documents then too are assigned to the respective employees automatically via the file name. Documents that have been uploaded incorrectly can be removed again via the column Actions. Now that the column names correspond to the correct attributes in Personio, Emma can see a preview of the import. After the import, she can view the uploaded documents in the Employee Profile under the Documents tab in the respective category. Congratulations! You are now ready to manage your preliminary payroll and import documents into the Employee Profile.